Well, hi guys, and welcome to Alcan ADV. Uh, today, I'm going to go into the first of hopefully many of uh, trip updates. Um, we're going to go over the first few days of the trip and, and what happened and what went wrong. Well, nothing went wrong, right? Anyway, we'll get into that right after this. taking this day at a time. Um, I left uh, Monday morning and I went to Toke, Alaska, which was a little over 500 miles. It was a long day, but it was okay. I ended up camping that night in a little gravel pit uh, north of the highway. I have some footage from there. So this is my camp for last night. This is first night out. Uh, I hit a gravel pit up here. I'm kind of up a hill and the road's back there behind me so that's nice. Anyway, I got this awesome view and uh, slept really good last night. Got, I don't know, seven hours or whatever. There's a bike, tent, and uh, ready to hit the road. Hopefully go to Whitehorse. I made it uh, a little bit past Tote. Tote's back that way, and the border's back behind me. So, there we go. So the next day, I uh, went to Whitehorse. That night I camped, uh, I don't know, 50 miles south of Whitehorse and, and uh, had a little bit of an adventurous time. So last night I was looking for a place to camp and I went up this little trail here. It looks nice and benign. Oh well, there's a little rut. Well it goes clear up the side of this mountain. I don't know how many switchbacks. 
I went up four or five until it turned to mud and I went down. So I picked the bike up and uh, finally after dragging it and hefting it and lifting it and then tipped it over on the other side. It's got her all muddy. This stuff is nasty too. It's dries on hard. I mean this stuff is like hard. Anyway, she's all right. I'm all right. It's a good day. day was more of the same. I turned down onto the Cassiar Highway that day. So the, the Cassiar was great. Um, much windier than the Alcan, a lot more narrow, and uh, pretty well suited to a bike. So that was about that, and uh, the next night I spent uh, on Highway 16. A little campground just south of Highway 16 pulled up in there and there was another biker in there, a fellow by the name of Dave. He was on his way to visit his brother. Um, anyway, Dave, if, if you're watching, uh, it's good to meet you and hope you have safe travels. Anyway, so I spent the night there and uh, next morning I went out to Prince George. And then I kept going that day uh, all the way out to Jasper. What I wanted to do was go south from Jasper on, I think it's 97 or 94 or something like that, um, into Bend. It goes kind of down the middle of the Rocky Mountains and it looks like a really pretty road. Anyway. Well, I woke up this morning and uh, it's a little bit cold. I'm just south of Jasper in a little campground and uh, it was snowing. It wasn't snowing last night, but oh well. So I'm all packed up, packed up my wet tent, of course, and uh, I lost a headlight on the bike last night. It's a low beam, thankfully. Of course, I got the LEDs. <laughs> we'll see you on the road. I had a sticky time trying to get out of Jasper. Ended up following a few cars out, riding in the ruts, and uh, there was about an inch of snow on the road. I was getting kind of nervous. Anyway, I'm going to cut it off there. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully before next week, and uh, till then you guys ride safe, and I'll keep doing my best. So far, I've been successful.